if you do have some feelings that take feelings of disappointment that take a little longer to get your way through, like instead of a bulldozer, you need a bulldozer, a dump truck, and like everything you can find, (laughs) you need a whole cleanup crew, then you have to get moving so that you can get back into life. You can get re-engaged. And so you have to find things that light you up again, Mm. that really get you re-engaged and counterpoint that disappointment and help you focus on just re-engaging and reigniting in life. Right. right? Yeah. I mean, we've all been there, whether it's, you know, um, we, we had a relationship breakup. You know that was disappointing maybe you saw it going somewhere and it ended up not or you know we wanted that um that promotion or your dream job and it just you didn't get it and you saw you saw the picture you saw what it could be and it didn't achieve, it didn't happen right um you know same with sports you know there's it can happen in every aspect of our lives school etc um and so it's hard because you want to be those. Uh, yeah, as we're saying, the importance of feeling your feels is like, I mean, yes, you are human, and, and it's important to have those. But moving forward is such a key aspect, and and oftentimes it's it's not a it's not a lack of desire to to want to move on. It's it's what do I do next? Because I just had a clear vision of what I thought I saw the next 5, 10, 15, or even 20 years of my life could be. And now it just went, you know, it felt like my legs got kind of off underneath me. You know, it's like everything that I knew, you know, I had that with golf. I grew up playing golf. I thought I was going to be a professional golfer. When I got injured, it was like, oh, everything that I'd been planning for, for at that point, you know, just 21 years of my life. Yeah. You know, give or take a few years. Obviously, I didn't play right, and I was born. But you know, so yeah, let's call it. Nine, you know, came out with a golf club <laughs> yeah, in your hand. Yeah. Let's call it a good fifteen plus years. You know, which that's still a long. That's a vast majority of my life at that point. You know, that's what I knew. That's what I had set, and and boom, gone in one instant, right? And I felt lost. I, I felt like I wanted to do something more, but I was like, I don't even know where to begin. And so I think that's where this final one is so so important. And, and critical is to remind ourselves of, of what we are passionate about, that some result like that we place, going back to our very beginning of this, right? That when we place disappointment as a result, then that's the experience we're going to have. The disappointment doesn't have to be a result. The experience I had felt very disappointing and I was making it a result until I realized it was the best thing that ever could have happened to me. I mean, sure, I could have gone on and played golf, but would it got me to where I am today? Absolutely not. And I am so much happier than I ever was then. And so it's, we never know. And that's why it's so important not to get in our own way and not to have this laser focused idea that it's only going to look this one way when we do something. So be open, be willing to explore your heart and your feelings and you know, redirect your expectations so that you have clear communication to yourself and to others and that you take time to reflect on what all of these aspects mean. And so then that can help you understand your, what you're passionate about, what lights your fire, what else is possible as an unlimited being in this world that you can, if your goal is to do something like make an impact, well, what can you make an impact? Can it be as simple as opening the door for someone? That might impact their world in that day. They might have the worst day possible and you never would know. But just by opening them, it made them feel seen, heard, and God in that moment. And that could be the first time they felt that in months or years for all you know. And that could light them up. Well, good. You just made an impact. So if you apply that into every little thing that you do, you're going to compound into making a tremendous impact in your life and to those around you. 